Design management, I think, works on a lot of levels. On the most practical level, facilitating bringing an idea to reality in an amazing way and kind of managing the design process. I think as design and business gets more and more complex, and whether that be about technology or how the economy works in a shared way, design management is needed more and more on the small levels and on the macro systematic level. My name is Valentine. I graduated from LCC two years ago. I'm an entrepreneur and I'm also a designer. This course really taught me so much about the design thinking and the design process. To be able to create a product from beginning to end and really iterate and think how can you make it even more user-centered. I think students on this course have an amazing relationship to technology because we are, and they are, total optimists, really digitally savvy, but they're also quite critical about it. We're really interested in what's the human reality behind using technology. A design manager needs to be able to understand like, how the client's affected or how the end user's affected or how the environment's affected, so it's much more of a systems approach to design. The model of the curriculum is three areas, management and leadership and business, design cultures, and that's kind of the, the cultural human factors, critical thinking, and design practice. Every week you all have three classes, one in each of those areas. I'm Kristen, I graduated from design management in 2017. I work freelance, doing a lot of strategy development, and at Southern Council with facilitating policy making. We found out that we had a 91% employment rate. People went into creative business in well-being, they went into finance, they went into graduate schemes in banks, big brands, and then we had people become freelance and work with schools, work with small brands, even, even on the consulting level. I've launched an app a year ago called Shake. We are representing all sorts of creative industries from fashion, music, film, photography, design and our aim is to help creatives connect easily so we can facilitate more collaborations and ultimately more innovation. My name is Eric Wu. I'm the first year student at Design Management course at London College of Communication. I was kind of between design and business, but then like design management kind of like the best of both worlds really to me. We are at the Design Museum today and we brought the Design Management second years to see the Designers of the Year Award. The role that I play is start to expose the students to the power of different cultures. We're not talking about necessarily just traditions but interpretations of colours, numbers, um, social behaviours. Now what we need to start bringing to the forefront and understanding how are we viewing things? How are things coming into vision? Are they truly considering all different viewpoints? And if you're not, just be specific and own it. Collaboration is probably one of the key skills that we try to develop on this course. If you have a scientist, an engineer, and a stakeholder like a client, and a designer and a programmer around the table, then the design manager becomes the facilitator and almost the translator. And for that reason, our briefs are very multidisciplinary. It's about finding the right medium to get the right idea and the right message across. What I valued from the course is being exposed to design in a way I didn't know design was. Because often when you say design, people go, oh, graphic design, or is it fashion, is it interiors? And then you have to go back and say, yes, that's true, but for me it's a process. On our course, BA Design Management, I think we bring together creativity, business and business strategy, and design practice and, and hard skills. We're shaping culture, we're technologically relevant, and we can provide kind of lasting impact for people and for organizations.